Melfab is uh, proud to introduce this uh, new top mount pumper that is uh, built for the New Germany, Nova Scotia Fire Department. It's uh, a 2011 international four-door chassis. It has seating for five firefighters, four of those seats being SCBA seats. It is powered by a Max Force 9 330 horsepower engine. It has an Allison 3000 EVS transmission. It has a custom built console that will house uh, loose equipment and uh, flashlights and portable radios. It has uh, room for the uh, siren control and uh, for the uh, pump shift control. The uh, lighting package is a Whalen LED light package. This is a NFPA 1901 compliant unit. Uh, it was tested uh, to ULC S515-04 standard. It has the vehicle data recorder and the seat belt monitoring system included uh, from International. The body is a uh, Melfab top mount uh, pump panel. It has a uh, Hale 1250 Imperial gallon per minute pump. It has 800 gallons of water and uh, it uh, has high side compartments on the left side and intermediate compartments on the right side. On the uh, pump panel we find the uh, Foam Pro 2001 uh, control module. There are hail master intake valves for each side suction and the rear suction. They uh, are uh, plumbed with a pre-primer uh, to allow easier drafting. Every control is color coded. The uh, governor is a class 1 toll pressure governor and it has a, a pump intake and pump discharge compound gauge. And at the other end of the pump panel uh, we find the controls for the uh, engine cooler, the pump house heater and the water level gauge. On the left side of the body, there are uh, two Speedlay pre-connects underneath the uh, operator standing area. They are covered with uh, aluminum deck plate covers and have end tarps at the end. There is a uh, storage compartment at the end of the walkway on each side. At the pump house level, we find a full width step and a uh, door access to the uh, pump uh, area. On the lower portion of the pump panel, we find uh, two 2.5 two inch discharges, a gated 2.5 inch inlet, a gated 6 inch inlet, a, a cool small battery conditioner, uh, plug in and auto eject for the air, and uh, uh, bleeders at the bottom of the uh, panel. The compartment is high side storage for maximum compartment space. There are adjustable shelves in each compartment. In the rear wheel well, we see two SCBA tubes and two Whalen LED flashers. The ladder rack is a Zyco horizontal ladder access system. It houses a 35 foot 3 section ladder and a 16 foot roof ladder. On the side of the body, there are two GHC lights from Federal. And inside, on the top portion of the uh, pump house, there is a uh, monitor connection and two extendable lights that are 12 volt operated. On this, the rear of this NFPA compliant unit, we find the uh, chevrons uh, installed in the middle portion of the body. Uh, at the hose bed level, we find two adjustable hose bed dividers. There is a uh, traffic bar mounted underneath the hose bed with uh, two uh, federal GHC lights. There are dual two and a half inch discharges, uh, one plumb for foam. In the rear compartment, there is a uh, rear suction that is plumbed through the uh, tank. And the, inside the body, there is storage for two suction hoses. At each side of the body, there's our, there are electrical switches to control the uh, ladder racks on each side of uh, the body. On each side, there's also folding steps to access the hose bed area. Underneath each fender top, there is uh, additional storage area for pipe poles and attic racks. On the right side of the body, we find intermediate compartments that have adjustable shelving in each. There is a, a six inch suction hose mounted at the top portion of the body. Uh, and there is a uh, Zyco access ladder that holds a 24 foot two section ladder. On the uh, front of the uh, body, the pump house has a similar setup as the left side with dual 2.5 inch discharges, a gated 6 inch inlet, gated 2.5 inch 
uh, suction and the assorted drains for those controls.